This is AEDT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. This week, we will discuss online presence and online identity management. The title of this video clip is Public by Default, Private by Effort. Did you know that when you first created your Facebook account, all of your posts were public by default unless you chose to limit their visibility? Did you know that any video you uploaded on YouTube was set as public by default and that anyone could view it until you changed the privacy settings? Did you know that when you first signed up for Twitter, your tweets were public by default unless you decided to make them protected tweets through modifying your account setting? When you choose to protect your tweets, only your approved Twitter followers can view them. They are not able to retweet them and your protected tweets do not appear in any search. In addition to this, you are not able to share a link to your tweets with anyone else than your approved followers. Instagram, an online photo sharing service, is another example which, again, by default, allows anyone to view your photos until you modify your privacy so only your approved followers can view them. The analysis questions for this video clip are What is the difference between public and private online information? And what are the risks of sharing personal information online? Users of digital communication technologies are drawn towards these social networking sites to find a lost childhood best friend, a college roommate, a past employee, and more. Once they find them, they try to revive an old relationship or build one they wished they had built in the past. Users are also eager to build new connections and benefit from the interactions that emerge. Whether these sites are personal network platforms such as Facebook, or microblogging platforms such as Twitter, or location platforms such as Foursquare, or content sharing platforms such as YouTube, or even a shared interest platforms such as LinkedIn, most of them publish and share your information publicly unless you are aware of their default settings and modify them before posting anything online. Three kinds of information can be gathered about you when you are using social network sites. Information that you shared, information that others shared about you, and information that was gathered through electronic tracking. On one hand, you intentionally shared your bibliographical information which includes and is not limited to your name, gender, age, education, employment history, hometown, places that you visited, and more. You also share photos, videos, contacts, interests, moods, status up, uh, updates, and more. On the other hand, any online user can share correct or incorrect information about you. He or she could, for example, tag you in a photo, or add your name to an event without you knowing. In addition to these two forms of information diffusion, the history of the websites you visited, items that you have bought, movement between websites, and more, are electronically tracked. In other words, your online behavior is monitored and could be viewed, in addition to all the aforementioned information, by advertisers who are interested in your personal information so they would be able to better direct their ads to the products that you might be interested in. Third-party software developers could also access your information to personalize their applications. Remember, most of the free social network sites that you are using make profit by selling advertisement based on behavioral advertising, which is tailoring their ads to the user's interests. While these parties could be considered harmless, you should not take this fact lightly. This information could easily be used by identity thieves or other online criminals such as hackers who could access some personal information. For example, they could be accessing your address from the by default geotagging service linked to the photos you share online. When you take a picture, using your smartphone or any camera that has the geotagging option by default, this tag is linked to your digital photos and then made public to any hacker and predator who could, by observing several of your photos, know exactly where you live, your history, your offline behavior, where your young sister or brother or your child go to school, which movie theaters, supermarkets, and malls you usually go to, etc. In one of his TED Talk, 
Juan Enriquez, a best-selling author, businessman, and academic, who is recognized as one of the world's leading authorities on the economic and political impacts of life sciences, asks the following questions. What happens if Facebook, Google, Twitter, LinkedIn, cell phones, GPS, all the things that you do with every day turn out to be electronic tattoos? What if Andy Warhol was wrong? Andy Warhol theory is the following. In the future, everybody will be world famous for 15 minutes. What if we flipped this theory? What if we were only anonymous for 15 minutes? According to Enriquez, our electronic tattoo will last longer than our body. He ends his talk by highlighting the fact that when our most fears were previously death, today what we are really threatened with is immortality because of our electronic tattoo. However, sharing proper information about yourself online could be beneficial. We will discuss the importance of having an online identity in the following video clip. The synthesis questions for this video clip are Why is it important to be aware of whether the information you are sharing online is private or public? How can you protect your information online? And what does Enriquez mean when he says what we are really threatened with is immortality because of our electronic tattoo? 